What's up, everybody? True Nick Nick today, and I feel like I've been gone for so long with Marvel Crisis Protocol, and I have, and I'm sorry, guys. I've just been busy with other stuff, and we're going to get back to it. There hasn't been much news lately, so I'm just going to do my own thing and create my own, just create content just for the hell of it <laughs> at this point. I'm going to do other stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I recently just watched the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 movie, and, you know, the movie, absolutely fantastic. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm not here to do a review or anything like that or spoil you or whatnot, but... Ever since I watched that movie, I was like, you know what, man? I think it's time. I think it's time for me to come up with the Guardians list and try it out and see what happens. Um, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to talk about this Guardians roster that I'm working on. And we'll talk about it here in a second. But if you guys can, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, do all those things y'all got to do. And, of course, I'm going to have more Marvel Christ Protocol content. I'm going to have more match videos up. I just did a match a couple days ago. It's in two parts, and I got to figure out how to put that together. Um, and I'll get that on the YouTube channels against Kuyo, uh, played Criminal Syndicate, played really well. Actually, actually, in that match, I was trying out, um, the Human Torch, uh, the original Human Torch. I was trying him out and, uh, in my, my Brotherhood roster, just for grins and giggles. And, uh, we had a pretty, pretty good match and he played it really well. So I'll have, definitely have that up soon. Um, but yeah, let's talk about it, man. Yeah. So I, you know, I watched the movie and I was like, you know, man, I want to challenge myself. Let's make a Guardians roster. But I wanted to make a Guardians roster and basically not have, like, Malekith, Hulk, Thanos. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I want to challenge myself. You know what I'm saying? I want to challenge myself and play a roster that's, you know, just Guardians characters and just make it work and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I know I'm going to get in the comment section. Man, should I have Hulk? Should I? I know, guys. I know. I know. <laughs> All right? I know. But I don't want to do that. I want to play this roster and make it work and see what I could do with it without those characters is the challenge, right? So we're, we're going to go through this for a second. So Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Star-Lord, the leader, got him in the roster. Uh, right now I've got Agent Venom, who I'm having a lot of fun with, and he's, it helps that he's affiliated as well. Um, he's got a long-range gun. He's got an incendiary grenade. He's got placement. He's got control. He's got all the things. He's pretty damn good. Angela, I'm a little cool on right now. Yesterday I played a game and her dice failed me again. Um, but, you know, she's that kind of character. I mean, she's basically an object, she's objective runner. And, you know, she can be hard to kill sometimes because you can't really roll dice on her. So, she's unless, and then also she's affiliated as well. Beta Ray Bill, you know, flavor of, the, flavor of the year it looks like so far. He's almost in every damn roster because of the big boy meta that's going on. Um, he's also affiliated with Guardians, which also helps. And he's another long-range gun, too, with his range 4 attack. Granted, granted, it is to power cost. Um, you'd want to be throwing with this character anyway. Um, but he's, he's, he's Guardians affiliated, so he's pretty cool. Uh, Crimson Dynamo is my, was one of my splashes. I think the only splash... I have two splashes, actually. Crimson Dynamo is in the list. Uh, and the reason why he's here is because, well, Tanky... Um, on map E's, he's absolutely fantastic, and Guardians like to play on map E, um, you know, shooting a lot of guns or whatever, um, and he helps, right? He helps the, uh, to counter their attrition. He puts out shock. He can reroll their your opponent's dice. He's just an absolute madman. He's, he's absolutely fantastic, um, and he's helped to keep the Guardians alive, you know, if they're doing some attacks onto them, and I can just reroll their dice and just, like, kind of stay alive. And he stays alive, too, because he's tanky. Uh, Gamora, the God Slayer. I've not played Gamora in, like, since, like, 2020, I think. When she came out was the last time I played her. Um, and I haven't played her since. So, I was like, you know what, I let's put her back on the table. Let's figure her out. She's one of my four threats. Um, I've, when I've seen her play, she does, she's done some fantastic work. I played against her. Uh, she did some fantastic work against me as well. Uh, we're going to see what happens with her. She's got a, She's amazing, in my opinion. Uh, she moves long. She has stealth. She has, um, what is it? The uh, the assassin's leap. That's a collision damage that she can do. Like she's got some really nutty stuff, and I want to try. I want to try her out. So, uh, Groot is, I mean, he's man, he's so good. He's one of the best threes in the game. Um, hard to kill. Very tanky. He's got. He can put out root when he needs to put out root. I mean, he could be a big boy. He can handle big boys pretty well. Uh, if they don't one-shot him and get rid of him off the table, he's kind of hard to kill. Um, he can heal himself, and he has access to We Are Groot, which is nutty in itself. Um, so, yeah, Groot is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Nebula, just because she's Guardian and I needed a two-threat, I know, hey, you probably put in Toad here. Don't, that's not the point. 
<laughs> Nebula's here. She's Guardians affiliated. She's an assassin. She can hunt down the extract holders. If someone's holding on a point, she can reroll a bunch of dice and whatever. Um, she's fun to play. I have a good time with her. Rocket Raccoon, the amazing two threat that just what shots people when he can't when he he does. Uh, he's a better cable. That's all I gotta say. Uh, booby traps. He's amazing. He's size two. He can no longer suffer for collision damage. He's size one. He can hide behind truck uh, dumpsters, and it's kind of funny, like size two things, and just like kind of sit there. You can't really see him. Uh, he, he's he's fun to play. He's by far one of the best two threats in the game. Star Lord's the leader. We all know what he does. And the other splash that I'm putting in here is Ulick, and why I'm putting in Ulick. Um, one, he is he has the extra power generation. Um, I don't have to really you know, facilitate a power or anything like that. He does have a throw. He does throw terrain features. He does have a bit of control with his pounders. He is tanky. He is minus one damage, right? But the second reason why I brought him in is because he's another medium-based character with a medium move that I can take objectives with with Eyes on the Prize. And Eyes on the Prize is in here for two characters. It's here for Beta Ray Bill, and it's here for Ulick. Gives me two options to threaten, uh, to threaten points um to grab something safely and to return it back to me right and, and to get back safely i want those two options i want my opponent to think about both characters and what they can do and fig and try and put pressure on my opponent to come up with something right to do something if they don't well i'm gonna get an objective i'm gonna take that back and i'm gonna hold it for a really long time um both characters are tanky <laughs> sorry i can't speak today are tanky um and they both, I mean, Ulick, is, Ulick can just deal out damage when he needs to, and he gets all over the board. So, like, he absolutely fantastic. So, that's the reason why both characters are here. Well, one, Beta Ray Bill's affiliated. Ulick is here for this reason. If I'm not playing Ulick, I can just, if I'm not playing Bill, or I don't have the option to play Bill, I can play Ulick. Same thing, right? I mean, Angela can do the same thing, too, right? She moves long. She's a threat, too. She's also a target for eyes on the prize. So, that's the reason why they're in. So let's go to the Secures Demons Downtown. Um, you know, puts on Incinerates, Map B. Um, Infinity Formula, it's a Map B. It's for guns, for guns to shoot. Basically, like Rocket, um, Agent Venom can shoot on this. I mean, Star Lord is pretty good on this. Um, you know, I, I tried it yesterday. I'm, I think it's okay. This is probably one of the things I might have to revisit later for Secures um, and try something else, try something different. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Um, intrusions. You guys know I'm not the biggest fan of intrusions, but I feel like you know, Guardians can get all over the place and just shoot their dice and do what they need to do. Maybe I change this out for something else as well. Um, there's not really much I like, to be honest with you, when I was making this roster. So I was like, ah, I'll just put intrusions in whatever. We'll see how it goes. I've not tried it yet. If I don't like it, I'll just change it and move on. Uh, Fear Grip, of course, the extra dice help out the Guardians as well. You know, extra dice for more, you know, for more damage, and I get rerolls and all that. I mean, it just it's a dice fiesta. Uh, research station, it is what it is. It's map B, people go to the middle. You know, they're gonna get shot. You know, can set up some crazy deadly duo turns and all that nonsense. So yeah, uh, scrolls, it's neutral. It's it's a really good extract. It's twenty threat, high points. Um, I can get a lot of characters on the field, you know, my points are, you know, I can really swarm at 20 threat with a whole bunch of characters and just throw a whole bunch of dice at you. Um, so yeah, scrolls is, is pretty good. I love the point value and it's a neutral and it's a neutral base. It's neutral when it comes to scoring. It doesn't get out of hand. Um, so let's go over the tactics cards base for impacts standard, uh, deadly duo. You have to be playing this with Guardians. 100%. If you're not playing this with Guardians, I don't know what you're doing. Um, you just get a whole bunch of extra attacks with Rocket and Groot for two power each. Pretty damn good. Escort to safety is here to save one of my characters. Like, for example, if... Uh, and Oh, another reason why they're here. Okay, that's right. Um, actually, no, never mind. We're not going to get into that. Uh, escort to safety is here uh, just in case a big boy or something like that wants to rush into me. Um, or whatever. Um, I can, you know, Malak the Chargers, I can just go ahead, flip this card, flip this card around for three power, save a character. They come, you know, they get out of the range and, you know, they get out of the charge and all that stuff. So that's the reason why this is here. I know this is better with like Guardian Stainos, but I feel like I can make this work. You know, if I know my opponent's coming with a big boy, I could just, you know, use this card, get my character to safety and, you know, stop a charge basically is the, is the whole point. So yeah. Uh, and honestly, I want to give this card some more burn. I have not played this card at all, you know, ever in my life. 
So I want to try this out and just give it a shot. Uh, Eyes on the Prize, I just already just discussed this. Uh, fallback is just dumb. Um, the timing on this card is absolutely nutty. You can sit there, get all the information from the damage attack, and then just move back small for two power. Keeps you safe. You know, if you don't... The best part about this is, like, if your opponent doesn't kill you, you know, and you and it's their final activation, you just get away. You're like, yeah, just go. <laughs> just go. Like, you're gone. Yep. Follow me is busted. Um, you know, I, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I could probably switch this off for Patrick or something else, but um, if I get a crazy turn with, like, Rocket or Groot or something like that, and I just shell out a bunch of damage, you know what I'm saying? I could just get all that power, follow me into another character that could do some really good attrition, and then just... You're gone. Um, age for an assignment. I want to give this card a shot. This card is crazy. It has all these effects that you can do <laughs> with it. Um, it's crazy. It's a crazy card. And I just want to try it, honestly. I just want to try it and um, see how it works out. It's, I mean, the effect, the, two, the couple effects that I want to try are is, is, is the one with Star Lord, um, Groot, which heals three damage. And then you got uh, Rocket Raccoon. You could do some Rocket Raccoon. I, I think he advances small or something like that. I don't know. Whatever. I just want to give this a shot. Mission objective. Um, keeps an objective, uh, keeps an objective safe. Um, I could do. Uh, I could do something maybe with uh, escort to safety. Um, you know, bring a character towards me if they decide to daze that character and I have enough power. I can just go ahead and mission objective it to another character within two of me. But the whole point is you have to have another character within two of you, right? Um, right. I believe so. Yes, yes, it's within two. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, you can do some crazy stuff like that. Fallback's another way to do it, too. It keeps an objective safe. Um, keeps you the point value that you need to, you know, continue your, continue your dominance with the points. And uh, it's just a solid card all around. I, I think this is this card is definitely turning into, I think, a staple, in my opinion. Um, it, it's just so good. It's so solid. Uh, Recal, keep me alive. <laughs> Rear Groot just heals everyone for three. It's a solid card. Anyone within four, I'm sorry, three power, anyone within four, remove two damage. I'll take it. For three power costs, sign me up for this. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's my Guardians list, man. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to give this a burn, give this some give it some run, and uh, see what happens, you know. Uh, of course, I'm going to adjust it as I go, but I want to have some fun. I want to challenge myself and uh, try something different, you know what I'm saying? And uh, as you can see, no big boys, nothing like that. Not that I don't think you should. I just want to try it differently, and I want to I want to go against it, right? And I want to see what happens, and I want to challenge myself and get frustrated and yell at dice and all that stuff. So, <laughs> anyways, if you guys can do me a favor, like this, like comment down below, give me your thoughts on the beta, like call it a beta. It's just my starting point to play Guardians. There you go. I, I'm challenging myself to do so. I'm gonna do it um, and try it, try it out, and have some fun. Um, and I'm trying to do this without the you know, the boogeyman in the meta. So that's the whole goal of this and uh, see what I can do with it, okay? Take care. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll catch you on the next one. Keep playing Marvel Crisis Protocol, guys. Get me to 1,000 subscribers, please. We almost there, boys. Take care.